Hi everyone, it's Shana from Shanuki. I'm very excited to share this project with you. It's my DT project, my first DT project for uh, Louise Heinzel. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. It's from her digital kit called The Bunny Hug. Um, I will put the link to her Etsy shop to this um, kit in the description of this video. So for the digital kit, I made it into a small journal. I've created two signatures that I've um, put together with pamphlet stitch and um, inside I will show you now I've used some cardstock and obviously the printed pages from her digital kit. So on the cover um, I've just closed it with some bias binding. I've just left it in the natural colour because I liked um, that it matched some of the lighter elements on the cover. And then I've made a pocket here from one of the tags that she had inside the kit. I've put one of my altered playing cards with a little bunny um, picture from the kit and a little butterfly. And that goes inside the little pocket. I have some metal corners that I've put on the front and the back. A little name plate, a little safety pin with a bead and some layering. And then this is just some uh, ruffles that I've made from the tissue paper of a dress pattern. Let's have a look inside. So I've used inside the inside covers what I actually use in most of my journals. It's just an old calendar. I just like the way the colors matched the tone. The kit is very beautiful. It's got very soft muted tones. There's um, mainly creams and browns with a bit of the green and some light mint and turquoise with some little pops of color. So it's actually very easy to work with and it prints really well. This is one of the pockets. I've just popped in one of these vintage postcards. There's some, uh, like I said, I used some um, cardstock with matching tones and colors. I've used, um, I've left actually quite a lot of the pages um, plain, which is what I normally do in my journals to allow for lots of journaling or writing, or if you're going to make it into a planner. A little tab here just from an old encyclopedia page that I've just stitched on with the machine. I've just used that piece as a little tuck spot for a little envelope. I cut one of the pages in half and just did it sideways just for some interest. This is one of the tags from the kit. I've just used some cardstock on the back and tied a really big hessian bow on the top and added it with a extra large safety pin. Just some plain um, paper too. What I did is with the kit before I um, obviously put it in the book, I uh, coffee stained it. So the, the other side um, has got a nice coffee stain. Very pretty flowers. Some like writing in the background. This is the center of the first signature. I've just stitched that across the die cut and I've made a little double pocket with some vellum. You can see the vellum is on the front, little pocket in there, and then a piece from the kit is the back pocket. I've just added a, a little um, journaling card with a butterfly and the word kind. And then just a piece of cardstock with a little tab. Lots of little butterflies, very pretty. Spots and berries. Another little pocket I've added here. I've just stitched a ruffle at the bottom. I've pasted the word bliss. I've stapled this in and then I've added, it's also a double pocket that I've done. I've got one of the tags at the back from the kit with a cardstock background with a little um, lace ribbon, it's like a crocheted ribbon tie. Another little tag with a cute little bunny face. And then I've put a little receipt in with a number 46 
this is the 46th journal that I've made. That's how I keep tabs on how many journals I've created. And I write sort of, in, on the other page of the receipt book, um, I write what the journal was that I created. This is just a page from an old encyclopedia that I've coffee stained. And then for the little tab, it's a little principle from the kit that I've just cut out and folded in half and stitched like a tab. Just some plain paper too, an old vintage bingo card that I've added with some washi tape. Get a close up of the kit. And on this side then I've done another ruffle with the tissue paper from a dress pattern. I really enjoy making these and I like that they're not the the regular design of the ruffle it's quite um ad hoc because of the tissue paper being so thin you sort of just push it under the um sewing machine foot and it gathers up like this and i really like the unevenness of it this is just actually an off cut from some kazakov paper it's the end part where the barcode is on the other side so i've just added a little i've stitched that on there little hearts this is a second signature. I've made a like a double pocket over this. I've just used a piece um, of one page of the kit and then I've made a little tuck spot on the one side and then one on the other side. A piece of vintage um, music paper. Some more of that edging. This is a little triple pocket that I created. I'll show you what it looks like if I take the tags out. So I've just used three different pieces. This is from the kit and then to some cardstock and I've just, as you can see, cut those unevenly and just edged them with some distressed ink and it's stitched around. And then I've made a little, like a bookmark tag for the back. A little handwritten tag well it's printed handwriting not my handwriting and then just a little picture also from the kit that I've just stitched onto a piece of um, text from an encyclopedia just to add some interest some beautiful green butterflies with this spotty background another little tag And I've added that with a safety pin with just a um, coffee stained mini envelope. Just a piece of craft writing paper and a admit one ticket. Another tab on the end. A rectangular doily that I've coffee stained. I just had to trim off the end. It was sort of spilling over a little bit too much um but i've just trimmed it off and i still think it looks all right this is all the card stock some pretty pretty beautiful pretty and beautiful purple flowers card stock this is the center of the second signature just have one of the tags from the kit well, actually, I don't think this was actually a tag. I just printed out one of the pages and made it into a tag, a double-sided tag. This little tag with a flower. I've just made a vellum pocket. Just ripped it on the end for some interest and sewn it with just some um, zigzag and straight all the way around just to add some interest. And then I've just sewn down the side some different um, die cuts. Little things make for some awesome days. The word beautiful moment and a little bunny holding a clover little pictures also from the printable that i've just stitched down the doily some more pretty pages this also is from the edging of a kaiser craft page 12 by 12 inch they have some beautiful designs and you can actually use every single inch of the paper, even the barcode piece. Because on the other side is the barcode and on the one side it's always got a pretty print. 
just a little corner laid in with laid interest celebrate whenever you can little bunny i've just done a little stamp with an old date little butterfly and then also another tab with a printable just some plain um, lined paper that's coffee stained with a, a ruffle and the end I've just kept the back plain just a beautiful muted turquoise for the back and the spine I used a printed cardstock that sort of looks a bit like hessian and then I just um, edged it with some distress ink um, and that's my journal that I created for the DT project um, I will put all the details um, of all the bits and pieces of this journal in the description of this video um, currently my Etsy shop is on vacation due to the circumstances of the lockdowns I'm just I'm aware that I may not be able to post things if you purchase something or um, I'm not sure if it'll actually get to its destination so I've just put on vacation mode for now I have created though a sister site called Shanuki printables where I will be doing some um, printables that I'll be scanning and adding that you can just print at home if you still want to carry on with some crafting um, I don't have very much on there I'm hoping to build um, build the digitals as I go along so I'd love for you to visit um, I'm also on YouTube um, link in the description thanks for looking and I'll see you soon bye